All right on a more bleak note tonight. Tomorrow marks one week since the Baltimore Key Bridge collapsed and about three hours ago, Maryland Governor Westmore announced that a temporary channel is now open to allow some ships to leave the port of Baltimore. This all happening as crews work around the clock to remove the debris from the collapse piece by piece. Our Scott Broom is back in Baltimore tonight with a look at the progress they've made so far. Scott. Yeah, we're poised at this hour to potentially witness the lift of the next section of bridge to be lifted out. It will weigh about 300 tons, according to the governor. That's weather permitting. Meanwhile, you just mentioned the opening of this relatively shallow side channel uh, that happened today. We saw a barge leaving. That would mark the first commercial traffic moving out of this port. Uh, it's shallow. It's just a barge, but it is a small step in the right direction. Meanwhile, the arguing over who is going to pay for this has already started in court. The Singapore based owners of the Dolly filed in federal court today a motion to limit their liability in the incident. Lawyers for the company saying they should be limited to less than 43 million for the ship's role in a disaster that's already cost the federal government 60 million with projections into the billions. Today, the first commercial shipping, a barge to leave the harbor since the incident, used a new shallow 11 foot deep channel marked by the Coast Guard to sail out. The challenges ahead to get the dolly removed and the main 50 foot deep channel open are daunting. Here was Governor Westmore briefing the media late today. Unified Command has scheduled another lift for later today, pending conditions, specifically pending lightning. And they will be lifting an estimated 350 ton piece from the bridge. The work is moving, the mission continues. A temporary channel on the northeast side of the collapse opened earlier today. It will help us to get more vessels in the water around the site of the collapse. More introduced Maryland Transportation Authority dispatchers who relayed the Mayday call from the ship to police officers in the field so they could shut down traffic before the collision. He credits MDTA police with saving lives and said it was a Transportation Authority police boat that found a survivor in the water less than 15 minutes after the collision. More announcements from today. We also learned that the U.S. Small Business Administration has opened a field office in Baltimore today. That is designed to get relief to companies and individuals who have been harmed by all the economic closures that are occurring because of what's happened in the port here. And the Maryland State Secretary of Transportation took to the podium today and warned of potential big traffic problems tomorrow as uh, the holiday weekend and spring break ends and kids get back to school. There's going to be particular attention to the outer loop of the Baltimore Beltway on the west side, uh, which is the opposite side of where we are because a lot of heavy truck traffic is getting diverted that way. There's extra state police and transportation authorities on duty to try to clear any incidents that happen. But the transportation secretary calling for people to take extra time tomorrow around the Baltimore area because of traffic. Reporting live at the foot of the Wrecked Key Bridge, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Yeah, asking for patience as well. This is only the beginning of this process. Scott, thank you. And of course, you can count on WUSA 9 to be on top of every development in the Baltimore Key Bridge collapse. Stay with us right here on TV, online, and streaming for free on WUSA 9 Plus. You can also use your phone's camera to scan that QR code on your screen. That way, we can send you links to all of our reporting we've done so far on this collapse. In the meantime,